Do you know someone who is or might be a narcissist? Have you ever encountered a narcissist in your life? How did you manage to have them? Narcissists think, feel, and act to support the image they want to project to the world. This results from an extreme lack of awareness, valuing their own opinions and needs above anyone else. Just when a narcissist realizes you're onto them, things spin out of control before you can absorb what's happening, which is precisely the narcissist's strategy. The most excellent approach to defending yourself from narcissistic behavior is to educate yourself. Learn to recognize their habits so you can avoid them or escape. Watch until the end because you need to watch for and be aware of the 10 main habits of a narcissist. Detect these and you will be safe from trouble. Number 1. Narcissists are superior and entitled. Narcissists think they're better than everyone else. They aspire to be the greatest and finest at all they do. Narcissists do things their way, own everything, and have complete power over everyone. Everything comes back to their superiority, fueled mainly by a sense of entitlement. Even if they don't have the accomplishments to back it up and are fixated on success and power, they tend to belittle people they consider to be inferior. Over time, their entire world becomes a stage, and their life becomes a play where there are other ultimate actors. The more applause they get for it, whether it comes from their partner, friends, or parents, the more ingrained in these habits they become. For a narcissist, you must provide everything they need. And when you give your all, they extort and exploit you to the utmost extent possible. Number 2. Narcissists Lack Empathy and Sympathy Because everything revolves around them, narcissists acquire an incapacity to recognize or distinguish the sentiments of others. They have difficulty comprehending and considering how others feel since they are usually selfish and self-absorbed. They cross lines, rarely admit fault or apologize, and are unconcerned about how their acts or words affect you. Narcissists are typically impatient and, at worst, irritated when people confide in them about their issues. Narcissists are incapable of true love or emotional connection with others. They want someone to understand their suffering, sympathize with them, and make things perfect for them. This makes them emotionally needy to the point they form codependency, except that they don't respond to your need for care and sympathy. Number 3. Narcissists will tend to gaslight you to defend themselves. Gaslighting is known to be their first line of defense. Narcissists will make you feel worse and believe that everything is your fault. They'll always make it sound like you're too emotional over things that are of no big deal. When you bring up a worry, they downplay your emotions and deny events that occurred. It's much easier for them to persuade you using lies and manipulation rather than admitting to their abusive behavior. They utilize this to deprive you of the happiness you deserve, getting pain and doubt into your reality. Number 4. Narcissists will use baiting to control you Baiting is a narcissist's strategy for getting someone to respond to them. Narcissists instantly entice you into a conflict by attacking your character to get your attention and reaction. Crying, screaming, and yelling show that you care about them, and they have complete control over you. Narcissists intentionally exploit your vulnerabilities and trigger points to purposely push your buttons. That trauma bonding keeps you connected to a narcissist. This framing game in which the narcissist plays the victim and tries to elicit sympathy is one that narcissists enjoy. Number 5. Narcissists will manipulate you to the best of their ability. Narcissists may have spent months or years attacking your identity. They are more knowledgeable about you than you are about yourself. They play the martyr, listing all of the sacrifices they've made for you and telling you that you'll never find another person like them. Some may muster up crying or feeling unappreciated, but don't be deceived. Narcissists are wolves in sheep's clothing. You may find yourself sliding into their trap while completely ignoring it. Narcissists employ manipulation to break you down by using your deepest fears, weaknesses, and guilt. Number 6. 
narcissists will project onto you their abuse. When narcissists feel psychologically threatened, they use projection as a defense technique. It's a process in which they reveal who they are and what they're up to. Every narcissist lies to themselves, denying the presence of something within them and blaming it on others. A narcissist will accuse you of doing or planning to do something they are doing or planning to do. They dump their shame on you and make you feel terrible because they can't bear their guilt. The narcissist is well aware that you are not like them. You feel normal feelings such as remorse and sympathy, but they do not. Because they think you'll always accept and apologize for their abuse. They'll project it onto you. Number 7. Narcissists will always look for opportunities to control and command you. Did you know that narcissists can also go to great lengths to make you feel important? This isn't because they care about you, but instead because it gives them a chance to control and command you. Unfortunately, these narcissists will use your desire to feel unique and valued. Narcissists may make it difficult for you to leave the house for work or visit your friends and family. They cut you off from the rest of the world, requiring you to check in with them regularly. They try to bolster their ego by using you. They become disturbed and unsettled with the same way they become when you don't behave as expected. Number 8. Narcissists don't have any sense of responsibility. Narcissists want to control everything, but they never want to be held accountable for outcomes. They are irresponsible unless, of course, everything goes their way and their desired results occur. Narcissists shift the blame and responsibility to someone else to protect them and maintain their perfect image. Most of the time, narcissists blame the people close to them. The usual victims of their abuse are the safest individuals that they have around. Number 9. Narcissists lack boundaries Because narcissists need to be right all of the time, they see boundaries as an attack on them, even if they aren't. They believe that everything belongs to them and that everyone should think and feel the same way that they do. Because narcissists have an exaggerated sense of self-importance, they expect special treatment from everyone. They do so because they believe that they have a claim to other people's time and possessions. When narcissists receive a negative response, they are taken aback and insulted. The truth is that they don't care if you respect your boundaries. They don't care if you're pleased. All they care about is that you keep paying attention to them. Number 10. Narcissists split aspects of good and evil. The narcissist's personality is divided into good and bad aspects. Everything in their interactions is divided into good and bad portions. They blame you or others for any unpleasant thoughts or behaviors, while they take credit for everything excellent and good. They constantly accuse you of disapproval while denying their negative words and actions. They also recall events as either fully good and wonderful or entirely unpleasant and horrible. They can't seem to get these two concepts to work together. Since a narcissist cannot experience both pleasant and terrible emotions simultaneously, they must divide them to keep them separate. A person or situation is considered either good or bad and not both. They only deal at one point of view at a time, their own. Narcissism is sadly on the rise in today's society. Millions of people suffer from narcissism without even knowing because no one has ever explained what it entails. We may never fully comprehend narcissism, but learning more about their habits can help us better understand others who suffer from it. It also assists us in recognizing and dealing with those who have narcissistic personality disorder in our lives. However, because each individual is distinct and complex, the effects of their actions on others may be equally diverse. However, by becoming familiar with these 10 main habits of a narcissist, we may learn to manage any narcissist encounters in a healthier way that benefits our self-esteem. If you find this video helpful, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Watch this video over here for more interesting topics about narcissists.